Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to today's stakeholder meeting for uh, the proposed amendments to the sign ordinance and to the City Gateways Master Plan for uh, digital freeway billboards here in Vacaville. Uh, it's 4 3 right now, but we're going to give folks another minute just to see if anybody else is trying to get onto the meeting. Uh, so please hang tight. I do also want to let you all know that this meeting is being recorded, so that way folks who are unable to attend the meeting or uh, anybody who wants to refer back to it can view it at a later date. Okay, it's now 404, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you again, everybody, for coming to today's stakeholder meeting uh, regarding proposed amendments to the sign ordinance and to the City Gateways Design Master Plan related to digital freeway billboards. Uh, we're excited to get your to share these proposed amendments and to get your feedback here today. So today's meeting is gonna start off with a few introductions from city, city staff, followed by a brief overview of why we're having this stakeholder meeting. We'll then dive a little bit into the background. Uh, some of you may be familiar with that, but uh, just as a refresher, followed by uh, some discussion about what the proposed amendments actually entail. And then we'll talk briefly about what the next steps in this process are, followed by a chance for you all to share your feedback and ask any questions that you may have. So from the city here today, we have myself. My name is Noah Rambawa. I'm an assistant planner with the Vacaville Planning Division, and I'm joined today by Albert Eno, our senior planner, Paimon Bevind, our planning manager, and then Christy Pollitt, our assistant community development director. And the purpose of today's community meeting is to formally introduce these proposed amendments and to give you all a chance to uh, really provide feedback and ask questions about uh, the proposed amendments as they are currently in draft form. We'll also then be introducing what the next steps are for this project. So for those of you who may not be familiar, this all started in March of last year when we received a request from Clear Channel Outdoor to convert an existing billboard, an existing static or standard billboard into a digital freeway billboard. And this billboard is located along eastbound I-80 headed towards Sacramento, uh, approximately north of Kilkenny Road. And upon reviewing the application, the city determined that the proposed project, the proposed digital freeway billboard is prohibited under our current sign ordinance and that an amendment to our zoning ordinance would be required. And so in order to gain city council feedback on uh, what is considered a major policy de decision, the city council held a study session, a study session on, in August of 2023 and in December 2023, the City Council initiated amendments to the sign ordinance and to the City Gateways Design Master Plan in order to start developing those regulations for digital freeway billboards. And some of the standards that Council directed staff to look at include location restrictions, static or standard billboard removals, uh, development and design standards, performance standards, and then also what the review and approval process could look like. And so now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into what these amendments actually entail. The first uh, section of these proposed amendments include location restrictions. Following city council direction, new digital freeway billboards would only be permitted along Interstate 80 in what's called the Northeast Growth Area. And this is the area between Leisure Town Road and Midway Road. And then also along Interstate 505, north of Vaca Valley Parkway, and west of Interstate 505. The proposed amendments also include requirements for static billboard removal. There are currently about 16 existing static or standard billboards in Vacaville. And so any future digital freeway billboard proposals would need to enter into a development agreement to either remove three static standard billboards or remove four static standard billboard sign faces. And um, 
it would be the greater of those two options. Following uh, stakeholder feedback, actually, uh, there is also a proposed in lieu option so that if uh, future applicants don't have enough billboards to remove in order to meet that requirement, um, there is the option to provide offsetting benefits such as monetary contributions or community benefits like additional funding for parks or infrastructure. When it comes to development standards, all future uh, billboard structures must have placemaking and welcome verbiage like verbiage that says Vacaville or the city logo. Uh, there also has to be an aesthetic design that reflects Vacaville theming such as Golden Hills, biotech or agriculture. And then um, there would also need to be a maximum height of 65 feet, uh, minimum separation of uh, 1500 feet between billboard structures and then also uh, landscaping around the base of the billboard structure. And then of course, all these standards apply in addition to the standards imposed by Caltrans. When it comes to performance standards, all messages must be static, so there can't be any movement or flashing lights. The messages must be displayed for at least eight seconds. Um, there needs to be automatic dimming devices and a lighting plan to show that there won't be any uh, lighting impacts to surrounding properties and to promote driver safety. And then billboards must be able to shut down remotely in the event of any malfunction. As proposed, any proposal for a digital freeway billboard must uh, enter into a development agreement with the city, must obtain conditional use permit approval, and also must uh, have a major design review approval. The development agreement will stipulate the terms in regards to static billboard removal or the in lieu process, and will also provide for the provision of one-time fees and revenue sharing with the city. And then all that revenue per city council direction would be used for freeway beautification. And so to the right, there's a little flow chart that outlines the approval process. So an application would be submitted to the community development department, uh, a preliminary hearing with the city council regarding the business points of the development agreement would be held. And then ultimately the project would go before the planning commission for a recommendation and then the city council for a final decision. And then after uh, the city entitlement process, of course, a digital billboard must also get approval from Caltrans as well. And so as part of this effort, the city is also updating the city gateways design master plan. This is the first update to this plan in 20 years. It was first adopted in the late 1990s in order to really envision what Vacaville should look like from the freeway. And as part of that vision, there were policies that were adopted related to billboard development. And so in order to ensure consistency, staff is also proposing amendments to the design master plan, uh, now called the Vacaville Gateways Master Plan, um, in order to revise policies related to billboard development. Uh, the policies are listed below. It's uh, continued the removal of static or standard billboards, and then also to allow digital billboards if they provide offsetting community benefits and enhance the freeway experience. And so right now, the proposed amendments are open for public review and public comment. So we're continuing to collect the feedback from the public. So feel free to email comments and questions to myself. My contact info will be on the next slide. We're also having a planning commission study session next Tuesday, um, March 19 at 6 p.m. That'll be held in, in person at City Hall. And so we encourage any interested members of the public who would like to provide comments on this topic to attend that study session. And once we get all that public feedback, we'll be finalizing the draft amendments, preparing the environmental analysis for this project, and then ultimately taking it to the planning commission for a recommendation and then city council for a final decision. And so that concludes staff's presentation. If you have any questions or uh, comments that um, you'd like to share uh, regarding this um, in writing, uh, feel free to email it to me or give me a call. But we also have time now uh, for anybody who'd like to um, speak to provide questions or comments. Um, so if you could please use the raise your hand feature. Um, that can be found at the bottom of your screen under the reactions button if you're on a computer. Uh, click raise your hand and then I'll go ahead and call on you so that way you can unmute and uh, share any questions or comments you have. And if you're calling on a phone, it would be star nine in order to raise your hand. So I see that Andy has a raised hand. So Andy, go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
evening. Good afternoon, Noah. Thanks for the presentation. Much appreciated. Um, so anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. My clients are in support of uh, the development agreement portion of the uh, of the ordinance. Uh, we have taken a look at <clears throat> to begin with the 505 freeway uh, and the plan to place digital signs north of Vaca Valley. Uh, our response to that is we don't quite understand uh, why you would go ahead and allow for billboards, digital billboards, north of Vaca Valley uh, when the whole eastern side of that portion of the freeway is residential. Um, I would think that between residential and open space, uh, that that would in some way preclude putting uh, digital billboards on the west side of the freeway there. Uh, also, the city is the partner of the outdoor company because you are going to do a development agreement, some type of revenue share and so forth. Uh, also, you know, helping with community service type things. Uh, I would think that the city would be more interested uh, in placing digital billboards at Vaca Val um, Road, probably south of that area where both sides are commercial, uh, industrial, business park, and so forth. So um, it's a little bit of a concern there. Also, the western side of the 505, north of Vaca Valley, uh, is separated from the freeway by a road that runs between the freeway and the properties in that area. Uh, that makes it not as valuable because you have a further setback. You've got trees in that area. Um, you've got all sorts of other obstacles. Uh, and very large industrial companies up there that may or may not be interested in doing business. Whereas, you know, my feeling is you would have better luck uh, getting property owners in agreement uh, south of that Valley Road. So that's my uh, that's my input for the 505. Uh, I think those residents and those open space areas up there uh, deserve not to have digital billboards across the freeway from them. Uh, in regards to the 80 freeway, uh, my clients that I'm talking to are concerned that uh, you're allowing for digital billboards only in the far eastern section of the city. Uh, their belief is that you currently have, uh, let's see here, you've got currently 13 billboards up in that area. Let me find this. Uh, 13 structures in that area, four of them clear channel, three of them out front, uh, two Navcos, one Lamar, one Beal, one Orion, and one Batarsa. Um, that's great if they all want to go ahead and put a digital sign up in that area. Uh, if each one of those companies put a digital sign up there, you would end up with seven digitals in a three-mile area. Uh, I think that that is... Uh, not good for the city, not good for the billboard companies. All that does is saturate that area with digital signs. Uh, it doesn't allow for the billboard companies to bid at their highest rate uh, for these locations. Uh, all it allows for is just putting digital signs in the ground. And as a partner with the billboard companies, you're looking to maximize revenue. My clients who I'm talking to are more interested in the central part of the city and the far western end of the city because there aren't a lot of digital billboards in there. Uh, it would be supporting uh, the downtown community, uh, which has lost a lot of business to what is going on in the far east end of the, uh, of the city. Um, there are a total of 20 billboards uh, recognized by Caltrans on the freeways. Uh, and we believe that uh, the city can handle a couple more digital billboards, uh, can add a premium onto those. And what you're doing is you're allowing the smaller property owners uh, in the western and central part of the city to participate in this project. Uh, we believe that it's a, uh, a, a disservice to both the city and the community to only put digital billboards in the far east end of the uh, of the city. 
Uh, we also like the, oh, the other thing that I wanted to comment on was on page 146 of chapter 14.09.260 under signs. Um, you talk about on page 146, table 14.90.040. I believe that that's supposed to be 14.09.070. Um, then on page 149 of the same part of the code, uh, you state that Caltrans uh, regulates or restricts the height of billboards. Uh, Caltrans does not regulate the height of signs. That is uh, part of the city's uh, part of their ordinance that they're supposed to restrict. And uh, what we wrote in earlier comments was we agree with 65 feet, uh, but 65 feet should be from whichever is greater between the grade of where the billboard is located versus the grade of the freeway so that we can make compensation for if the freeway happens to be elevated in some way so that the visibility is there. And uh, Let's see what I have any other here. Um, oh, yes. Uh, let's see here. In that, well, we talked about the 505 freeway. Um, right now, the 505 freeway from Vaca Valley heading north is approximately 8,448 feet long. Uh, that would allow for five digital billboards heading north of Vaca Valley Road right there. Um, you know, we think it's more appropriate if you included south of Vaca Valley uh, to spread the billboards out rather than a concentration right across from the residential and the open space. And just want to let you know that the downtown merchants are very interested in having uh, the ability to advertise coming into the city from the west heading to the east. Uh, because otherwise everybody else is getting off at uh, various other shopping centers and not frequenting the uh, the merchants in downtown. So we think that the uh, west part of the city would be an okay place for digital signs. And uh, those are my comments of, uh, of my clients and uh, what we think is of the best interest for, uh, for the community. Thanks for letting me share. Yeah, thank you, Andy, for sharing all the feedback. That's really helpful. Um, I see next up, we have Alex Bellinson. So Alex, feel free to unmute. Thanks, Noah, appreciate it. Uh, wanted to just surface the questions I emailed to you earlier um, regarding spacing and uh, throw it out to the group. Just wanna confirm uh, that you're looking at the 1500 foot spacing only on the same side of the freeway and uh, between digital and static, digital and digital, uh, basically following the Caltrans uh, spacing, or if you're going to uh, just do digital to digital at 1500 and allow the 500 foot like Caltrans does from static to digital, if you can confirm, please. Yeah, thank you, Alex, for those questions. Um, so right now we are still currently fleshing out those uh, details. So we, we don't have any uh, firm decision one way or the other yet, um, but your feedback is valuable on that. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Um, and we will be uh, flushing that out as we finalize the draft amendments. Thank you so much. And then Sarah, I see that your hand is uh, raised, so go ahead. Hi, um, I think everyone on the call knows me. I'm Sarah Fish, Leader, Director of Development for Northern California for Clear Channel Outdoor. Uh, I appreciate the work that's been done to date on really conceptualizing the future of digital billboards in Vacaville, but I'm very disappointed that we proposed a conversion and I don't really see that a path forward for a conversion has been identified. And it's kind of shocking because we've been delayed now. I mean, you, as you noted, we, we originally applied in last March, we had meetings well before that by many many months so it's it's disappointing that we are sitting here today um having this discussion when it doesn't even address 
our application. That's my only comment today. I'll follow up in writing. Thanks, Sarah, for those comments. Um, I did note that you had a concern about how you didn't see what the what a clear pathway would be in terms of a digital freeway billboard conversion. And so I just wanted to clarify that um, any conversion projects would still be subject to the same process as any new digital freeway billboard convert or new proposals for digital freeway billboard. And then Andy, I see uh, that your hand is up again, but I just want to make sure if anybody else is here who wants to speak who hasn't spoken yet, um, feel free to raise your hand. Can I talk again? Is that okay, Noah? Yeah, go ahead, Andy. All right, thank you. Um, so as of today, I sent in a response to the meeting uh, from Thursday uh, in regards to one of my clients. Um, and I had made a suggestion for the following language. Uh, property owners with legally permitted digital billboards on their properties may continue to operate them. They may also upgrade these billboards to a maximum size of 14 by 48 or 672 square feet as permitted and negotiated with the city of Vacaville for extensions to their current development agreement. So we would like to introduce some language into uh, the ordinance. If you decide to only go with the Northeast corridor, uh, stopping uh, digital conversions or digital billboards uh, at the 505 freeway approximately heading from east to west coming down the 80. Um, my client at the Nut Tree uh, Tower LLC would like to protect its rights to move forward uh, and continue to operate the digital sign that's currently on their property that we've spent so much time getting the necessary permits for. Um, and we would like to introduce that language Hey, Andy, did you say that you emailed those comments? Uh, I did. Okay. Um, I'll double check my email, but I don't think I received any email. Um, so no I'll problem. go ahead and double check and reach out to you if you, um, just in case. But if you don't okay. mind uh, just resharing that and then also your comments from today as well in writing, uh, we'd really appreciate that. Absolutely. I will uh, send that out again after the uh, after the meeting uh, and then additional comments from my other clients that uh, would like to be heard. Appreciate it. Thank you, Noah. Awesome. Thank you, Andy. Uh, no, I, I, I was I received that email. Um, you weren't included, so I'll I'll forward that on to you. But Andy, if you have any additional comments from today's meeting, please uh, send those to me and uh, Noah, please. All right, is there anybody else who uh, has any questions or comments for today's meeting? Uh, if, if you think of something later, um, that's okay. Just feel free to give me a call or uh, shoot me an email. My email is on the screen right there. Okay, so Seeing no other hands raised, and I don't see any mics unmuting, uh, we're going to go ahead and end today's stakeholder meeting uh, now. So thank you all again for coming. Uh, I want to remind you that we do have a planning commission study session upcoming this upcoming Tuesday, uh, 6 p.m. in person at Vacaville City Hall. So if you are interested in providing comments then, uh, please do attend. You can also send comments in writing to myself. Um, but yes, we do welcome all your feedback. So uh, if you ever think of anything or have any questions, uh, please feel free to give me a call or uh, send me an email. But other than that, thank you all for attending today's meeting. Uh, have a great evening. Thanks, Noah. Thanks, everyone.